Who do you think mm. blinks first? Well, uh, the U.S. has a lot of play in that uh, number you mentioned, $450 billion. It's because that's about the size of its uh, deficit with China. It can keep just expanding the numbers. China imports about $150 billion of U.S. goods, so it can't do a straight tit for tat. It's going to have mm. to look at other things, and it has warned it would look at not only quantitative but also qualitative remedies. And so that's where I would expect they will try to go next. But it doesn't look like anyone's prepared to blink. It would be your guess as good as mine if someone will blink. They're both, it seems, uh, the two regimes set to show they're the toughest uh, guy on the block and not willing to back down. Rob, you know, well, one question that um, I, I keep on thinking about is whether or not mm. these goods, I mean, when you have tariffs on these goods, say on whether it's 50 or 200 or $450 billion worth of goods, will these goods still reach the shores of America or do you think the American people just uh won't buy it? So therefore, these goods will have to find a new market. No, I actually, David, believe what's going to happen is we're going to see a realignment of uh, trade flows. Basically, your value chains will shift away if this is consistently applied. Of course, what's really interesting is these tariffs, apart from steel and aluminum, which were announced early in the year, have yet to go into effect. So July 6th is the first uh, kind of drop dead date. And that's, by the way, just for $36 billion out of the uh, last week's announced $50 billion, uh, another $14 billion after that. And then we'll just have to see how it builds. So. Up until now, there's, there's no impetus for a shift, but if they are implemented and if they are sustained, my prediction would be you're going to see these uh, trade networks move away from China just because the U.S. is still the world's largest economy. It's still too important a market even for China. So China will start moving production away from its homeland mm. to other places to still access the U.S. market. Hey everybody, it's Hadley Gamble from our new CNBC Middle East Bureau in Abu Dhabi. Thanks for stopping by. Now to watch more, you can try one of the videos that just popped up on your screen. And don't forget to subscribe.